Hi everyone, how are those future mothers doing? Today, we're gonna be talking about colostrum. Now, transition from motherhood or continuing to grow your own family is not a small task. And sometimes you may wonder if you will be able to take care of and provide for your baby. And if you're planning to breastfeed, you may wonder if you will have enough milk. Now, I do suggest that you don't worry too much about it. Trust your body. Your body knows what to do. Plus, it will have nine months of preparation. Now, if you're considering breastfeeding, I think that it's very important that you understand what colostrum is. So, let's take a look at the definition. Colostrum is the first stage of breast milk. It's rich, sticky, yellow, and thick in consistency, or can appear clear and runny. The fluid, which has earned the reputation of liquid gold, is a precursor to your breast milk. So there you have it. Colostrum is such an amazing substance that has earned the reputation of liquid gold. Now, think of colostrum as your baby's first meal. And if you have heard of the terms pre-meal, early meal, practice meal, first meal, now you know what they refer to. Now, when does your body start producing colostrum? Let's see. Your body starts to produce colostrum from 16 to 20 weeks of pregnancy, but it's not until after the delivery of the placenta that hormonal shift in your body encourages lactation and release of colostrum. So that hormonal shift is what allows your baby to be able to breastfeed immediately after birth because it encourages the release of colostrum. So now, how many days does colostrum last? Let's take a look. Three to four days. After that time, your breast will start to feel firmer, which is a sign that your milk supply is increasing and changing from colostrum to mature milk. So that's the average, three to four days, and after that, your meal will come in. Now, if it takes longer than that, do not worry about it because every woman's body is unique. But that's the average, so keep that in mind. Now, how much does your baby need? Let's take a look. On average, your baby will consume about a teaspoon of colostrum per feeding in the first 24 hours, which is ideal for his tiny stomach. So, your baby's stomach will be the size of a cherry at birth. So this is why he needs small amounts of food. And colostrum is perfect in components and volume. So it will suit his needs. So what about health benefits? The health benefits of colostrum are many. It's, this is an amazing substance. It's a liquid gold. So let's take a look at some of them. When it comes to immunization, let's see how colostrum can help your baby's body. Colostrum contains antibodies and provides protection against environmental germs and internal inflammation. 
So colostrum will help to destroy microorganisms. Very important. So keep that in mind. So what about when it comes to your baby's gut? How does colostrum help your baby's gut? Let's take a look. Colostrum is easy to digest and helps line the gut with a protective layer that safeguards against future infections and diseases. So it will protect your baby against diseases and it also promotes the growth of good bacteria. It, that's a detail that is very important to remember as well. So what about nutrients? What kind of nutrients are present in colostrum? Well, it is packed with lots of proteins, antioxidants, vitamin A, B12, and K, immunological components, and other key nutrients. So this is, this is an amazing liquid. No wonder it's called the liquid gold. So what about body regulation? How can colostrum help your baby's body when it comes to body regulation? Let's take a look. Colostrum helps your baby adjust to life on the outside the womb by regulating body temperature, blood sugar, metabolism, lung, and vascular functions. What about when it comes to being a natural laxative? It is said that colostrum is that. Let's see why. Colostrum helps with your baby's system of meconium, the black poop build up in the womb. So colostrum will help your baby to get rid of the black poop. So in doing that, it will also help to prevent jaundice, which is very important. Now, what about when it comes to preemies, those babies that come into the world early? Well, colostrum promotes the growth of those preemies. So that's something that is very important that you keep in mind. Now, you can see that when it comes to colostrum, every drop counts and the size of your baby's appetite will be such that your body will produce exactly what he needs or what he will need. Now, it is unfortunate that colostrum is often overlooked, but it still remains a vitally important substance for your baby. As far as your baby's food it provides all the nutrients and nourishments that your baby needs so again think of colostrum as your baby's first meal one that will provide everything that he needs to try i always encourage you to look into it further more um, the topics that i you know, discuss in these videos. This one is a very interesting one, so please do so. I hope you like the video. I hope you find it informative. If you like it, don't forget to give it a like. If you would like to start following me, please do not forget to subscribe and to activate the bell button as well so that you know every time that I upload a video. Please take good care of yourselves because in doing so, you will also be taking care of your babies. Until next time, bye now.